because it's like being back with, uh, with a great big family. It's been great to finally see all of us now face to face. Welcome to the Weather Conference 2022. This is the new venue. This is amazing. Uh, all the rooms and just that people can walk around and interact. There's a lot of positivity. I get to put faces and conversations with the developers that I only usually work with over the internet and they get to interact with the users of the software, which, you know, there's really no point in working on a software unless there's users. The people here are so talented. It's, it's an incredible pool of unique people from all different types of industries. I've been developing for Blender for about 10 years. Lately, I've been working on a new bevel node for geometry nodes. I'm a 3D modeler. I'm dedicating to create cozy and cute isometric scenes in Blender. I always use a lot of details in my scenes, like pile of leaves, pumpkins, mushrooms. I gave a talk on the add-on I'm working on, which is a crowd simulation add-on. I hosted the education meeting and I just finished the podcast about the silent forces behind Blender. I use Blender for all my artworks. I did a talk yesterday about my journey with Chris Pencil, or how this tool changed my whole career. Blender is allowing me to do absolutely everything in one software. Play with it on the entire way through the beginning of my pipeline to the end of it. It does everything we needed to do. Uh, it also allows us to add things that we need. So in our studio, we have a custom build of Blender that we've actually been building uh, because Blender makes it possible. Blender means uh, freedom. You, we have access to the code, we can uh, add plugins and, and, and dig into the code. They are already doing all the good stuff. I love Blender. <laughs> How often things get shared in the Blender community is, I feel like, unique compared to other communities with 3D software. And now you can actually meet them and shake their hand and say, congratulations, you, you've changed my life because you've released a plugin that made my life easier. I sort of see it as a conversation between users like me, who know nothing about programming, and then the developers who see how people are using it and they're very good at pivoting and saying, oh, maybe we should make a tool about this. And that backwards and forwards just improves the software very, very quickly. We just grow together, and I think it's amazing and important to have these kind of meetings in real life also. Sometimes when you see something on the internet and people say this was made with Blender, the people are really proud of Blender as if it was their own creation. The community is the reason that Blender is growing. We are currently not the follower anymore or the little kid on the block. Blender is leading in ways. And people always try to pinpoint and say, hey, that moment is when Blender finally became mainstream. But honestly, people were saying this already every you know, part of the way. Eventually, I think it will become the standard. It's something that is way too powerful to ignore. I love the fact that uh, Blender grows and becomes more and more standard, but I also still like the fact that Blender is like an outsider, so it's, it's two opposite things that coexist. Hey guys, welcome to the Lightning Talks. If it wouldn't be for Blender, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. Um, it's been with me since the beginning of my artistic career. I'm a 22-year-old girl, so Blender has 20 years, so it's half of my life. So. <laughs> a lot is happening in the world of education. Uh, a lot of schools are picking up Blender as their main tool for teaching. Imagine right now the kids who are 15 now, what they're gonna do in five years, really gonna catch all of us by surprise. I'm excited about the idea that we can, and we have the possibility to do something to leap into the future and think of what is it if we want to make a tool for the next decade. We have the passion, right, for this, and we really care. And there is no money business, there's no shareholder, there's nobody 
with a hidden agenda, apart from the passionate people who want to make amazing things for other people. And that makes it that we are trusted by the industry. The Susan Award. This was really the best leather conference ever. What? Thank you all for coming and see you next year. Thank you.